This game was gift wrapped, packaged, signed, sealed, and delivered for the Toronto Raptors taking. Without three key starters in the lineup for the Boston Celtics, all nursing injuries were Rajon Rondo, Kevin Garnett, and Paul Pierce. This was deja vu all over again for the Toronto Raptors because the last time they played a team without two key starters in the lineup was none other than the San Antonio Spurs without Tony Parker and Tim Duncan. And of course, the Raptors allowed the San Antonio Spurs to go off and score 131 points, the most ever scored in a regular season game since 1996 by Greg Popovich and his team. On this night, the Celtics just showed how much talent their second and third string players have as they were able to outscore the Raptors brass and play some tough, hard-nosed defense. For the love of God, the Raptors struggled guarding the smaller unit of the Boston Celtics. They could not contain them for the life of them. The Celtics' motto is instilled in habit because they value toughness and they play to challenge. And just like the second and third string players on the court for the Seas, the fans were repping the green and white with pride and had a responsibility to keep that positive momentum going against the Toronto Raptors who have not won a game at the Garden since 2008. And when they take responsibility, they go all out. The Celtics cheering squad actually does backflips every time a Celtics player gets their free throws. Talk about getting involved. The Raptors had a sloppy slip up, but they plan to get back on track to their winning ways when they face none other than the San Antonio Spurs. It will be a tough test for the first time in 2010 at the ACC. Thanks for joining me inside the Purple Room. I'm Pyle and I will see you again next time. Thank <laughs> you.